The topic of this video is properties of tilted or slanted lines. Let's look at a problem. Find the equation of the line with slope negative 4 fifths containing the point 0 comma negative 3. Express your final answer in general, also called standard form. Now one thing that I really should mention is uh, for the specific textbook that this video was created to support, standard form and general form are essentially the same thing. They're given the same name. But in other textbooks, that's actually not the case. So uh, our job is to take our final answer and put it in the form ax plus by equals c. All right, so let's begin. We go through our flow chart. The first thing we need is a slope. Great, they gave it to us, negative 4 fifths. The next thing we need is a point. Great, they gave it to us, 0, negative 3. Now pick a path. Left path if the x-coordinate of your point is 0, which it is. So we'll go this way. The equation of our line will be written as y equals mx plus b. We just have to replace the m and the b with numbers. All right, m, the slope, is negative 4 fifths. b, the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, is negative 3. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting, so we get y equals negative 4 fifths x subtract 3. This is the slope-intercept form. However, the instructions for this problem say that our final answer needs to be in ax plus by equals c form. So, to achieve that is very simple. We just pick up the one term that's in the wrong place and move it to the other side. And we remember that when a term changes sides, it changes signs. So we get positive 4 fifths x plus y equals negative 3. This is our final answer in the standard, also called general, form. Now, in some textbooks, they require you to have a leading coefficient of your first variable term, in other words, a of 1. The book we are using does not require that, and therefore we are going to leave this as our final answer.